Hello friends, welcome to Android for Dev channel. So today we are going to learn about Recycler view in Android. So first question in your brain is, what is Recycler view? Recycler view is used to display list of data. You are using the apps like Gmail in which you can scroll through the mails in inbox so how you're scrolling through those mails this uh, it will look something like this or maybe something like this so how we can display a list of data like this so let's first understand what is recycler and recycler view and why google has introduced recycler view in android First, Google has actually introduced list view to display list of data. But list view has lots of problem with complex data. So at the end, uh, Google, uh, Google, has Google has introduced recycler view to resolve all the complex data problem. Now let's understand regarding the recycler view architecture. So recycler view have view holder class and uh, another is uh, adapter class the view holder class will hold all the views uh, like this uh, as you can see all this this cells it is this is called as a view holder you can see one cell as a view holder second cell as a view holder third cell as a view holder and this all the text as you can read i am and three avenger age of Ultron are views which hold in the view holder that's why its name is view holder now recycle view has some properties layout manager item animator item decorator we are going to learn about this later in detail also now as i told you recycle view has adapter also which can which hold all the data and even views in it let's see some let's see some basic component first so list of components in recycler view the first of all view holder which i already explained to you that this all single item is hold in view holder now layout manager this, this is very important without layout manager you can't render anything in recycler view there are there are mainly three kind of layout manager in recycler view first of all is linear layout manager second one is grid layout manager Third is staggered grid layout manager. So in linear layout manager, we can display two kind of list. First one is vertical and second is horizontal. Today we are only aiming to learn a vertical list of data, something like this, right? So let's move to the Android Studio and start coding. Okay, as you can see, this is Android Studio now. I have a main activity as you all have now i don't want to only teach you code but also some good structure to make a good project so in before i start any project what i do is i first create packages okay then first package is always base package okay just go to the more often new then package give the name to the package as base now what this base package will hold it will hold my base activity this activity will be used in every activities why do why to do this because i can i can uh, create lot i can put lots of functions in this base activity and by extending the base activity here i can use all these functions in my all activity so basically i don't have to rewrite code for functions every time so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to extend the base activity app contact activity here instead of main activity right like this and this class will be open this is kotlin so in kotlin if you want to extend any class you want to put that class as open class i'm going to make lots of kotlin videos in future also so 
please subscribe to my channel so you can get notification about those videos also so i have extended app contract activity in this activity now let's override on create method here now use this base activity class instead of app compact activity something like this now for using the recycle view and your project what you need to do is you need to add one dependency first that is recycle view dependency so we are going to import implement uh, recycle view dependency in builder build.gradle file i will show you how easily you can import any dependency without even remembering that those names those complex names okay just go to the under studio now click on a file go to the project structure now you can see the dependency section here now click on this plus button library dependency now search for recycler view and press the search button here you will here the recycle library will appear now just click on ok and apply ok now the, your project will sync and you can see that the recycle review is now in the build.gradle file see here is the build.gradle there are two build.gradle one is project level and one is app level you have to include the build uh, recycle view recycle dependency in project level build.gradle file you can clearly see that it is here now okay so now we can use recycle recycle review into our project so first of all what will be the first basic step is to first now create list of item underscore movie this list of item underscore movie is a layout file which will hold this layouts this image of the movie in, uh, movie's name how many person has viewed this movie when this movie is going to release okay so this layout this is a layout file and this is all other views which will be in layout file so let's see how we can create one layout file here so i have actually already created one but let me delete this so i can show you from the first step okay so now list of let's give the name the good name is always which is self explanatory so first give it list discourage item discourage movie never give the capital to the names like it will give you errors this is very bad so it will give you errors list underscore item underscore movies this is a good name this self explanatory that you have a list of movies okay now this click here okay and yes it is already created now what i want is this should be the background color of this should be white i want to be i will list to be the background color white so just use the background property and android color white android offer lots of and already gives by default lots of colors as you can see white black transparent background dark these are all the android colors default colors so white color now i don't want to uh, waste the time waste time to put all the views one by one this is not good okay so i'm just going to copy this because i have migrated to android x not on the simple android project now i might before this i when i have made this whole uh, blog it was i'm using android support library now i'm using android x library that's why it gives me the error before so now if you don't know that uh, how to use a constraint layout manager then let me know i will i will uh, i will show how to use constraint layout okay the start of the start top of the top is parent to the solve and the solve and this is resolving all these errors so i can show you this 
I can show you how we can display the software and the security. Now this is done. Okay, now you can see we are able to see the whole view here. Right now, let's move to the another point. Yeah, okay, so I have created the list underscore item underscore movie layout file. Now we have a layout file. Now what we want is we want view holder class which will hold which will hold this whole view in it. I always prefer to create a view holder class before the adapter class recently because we need to use that view holder class in adapter class. So let's now go to the new Kotlin class and give the name as a movie list movie list view holder right click the enter button and yes the class is created now we are going to we are going to extend this class with recycler view dot view holder as you can see the view holder is a in a class of recycler view now okay, as you can see here it's a class of recycler view class here as you can see this is a recycler view class and it's a inner class of recycler view class now let me show you everything lots of scroll yes this one yeah this one so it is an inner class we view holder the inner class of recycle view, but what the inner class what the view holder need it needs a view object. See, it new it needs view object. So how we can pass it? We need to declare one view here as item view. The name should be always self-explanatory. That is a good project. Or we can say the good programmer always do this. So pass the item view into the view holder. Right. The, this simple shape is now done. Now we need to create one function which will bind our data with the view. So better to give the name like bind view. Right. You can give any name here. It is not compulsory to give the bind view. You can even just give bind or ABC, ABC, if you'd like to do, but this is very bad. I hope let's create one more package because we need to pass some data to display into the views, right? And how we will pass? We have to hold those data somewhere. It might be some POJO model class, anything like data class. What you prefer to, uh, what you speak to speak, it's completely upon the view. So just move to the Let's create one more package here. Give the name it as a movie model. Right now, let's create a movie. Sorry, sorry, as my mistake, just rename it again uh, as a model. Just give it name as a model. Now, create one more class here as a movie, movie model. Right. Ah, as I'm using the Kotlin, I prefer to use data class instead of simple class. I will explain what is data class in my next videos in the Kotlin series for sure. So just create. Now we are going to create some field here. That means we are going to declare some variables here. Now uh, this is this is my Git repo. All the things are here already. So I'm not going to write edge and everything. I'm just going to take some of the code from here directly to save some time. And this paste to here, right? And by the same yeah, okay. So the start bracket is missing, round bracket was missing, and uh, yes, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to pass model in bind view i will show you this step later so our next step what is our next step we have a view holder ready now we have to create one adapter class by extending the recycler view dot adapter right and then name it as a movie list movie list adapter right this is a good name 
So let's create one package adapter. Now create one class new Kotlin class. Name it as a movie list adapter. Let's extend recycle overview dot adapter here. Put a recycle overview dot view holder. Right. Now it's good. What is a recycle view adapter? Recycle overview adapter. This will hold all the data. This recycle overview adapter, recycle dot adapter will hold all the data and view within it, which we are going to render in the recycle view. When we extend recycle overview dot adapter, we have certain functions which we need to implement. These are all the functions. We will see these functions in detail. Okay, first the create view holder. The, the functions name is self-explanatory. The create view holder. The create view holder will create a view holder for every single items. For every single items, like as I show you before, like this for for this alley corner branch this weekend this is a single cell right this is a single cell so this is a one view holder this is the second view holder this even will be the third view holder so it will create the, that that create view holder method will create a single view holder for every single item now get item count this method will return the list of data size to the adapter so adapter will know how many view holders we uh, need to create needs to create and how many holders need to bind right so this matter is to to notify the adapter that how many data the uh, adapter need to render now on bind view holder on bind view holder is used to bind the data with the view okay so let's use this function to help to achieve our goal now first what we will do is we will create a one array list to hold the list of data so first we have list of movies okay movie now right we have now list of movies right now just need to return all the list of movies to the adapter like this right now we need to create a one view holder view holder to hold the our hold our data hold our views right so now you see them as you can see it takes it return the argument as a recycle dot view holder return type is recycle dot view holder so return re ring uh, our view holder class. We have to, we have to uh, return our view holder class here. So just take this now return view holder and something like this. Now as you can see what we did is we as a constructor as an item view we need to pass item view in the view holder. How we will do this a layout inflator class which uh, which will uh, initiate a layout xml file into its current corresponding view object okay so what we will do is uh, first of all layout inflator dot from context it always need one context means layout layout inflator will can't be used alone we need to pass one context in it so what we will do is parent dot context many developers do context here right they pass context from the activity in adapter which is very bad way please always do parent dot context like this now dot inflate 
what this function will do this function is self-explanatory again as inflate inflate means this function will return the whole view to the view holder as you can see the return type is view right so we are going to use the inflate right here and now first is r dot layout dot again there were resource file we need to import it and r dot layout dot list of item movies which we have created here in layout package resource layout package list underscore item underscore movies right this now what it second argument it require it require a view group right view group view group is a parent of the view right so we need to pass the parent here as you can see view group we have passed the view group here as we get a one bin view group right Plus view group as a view group. So we have passed this the parent class here. Now we need to pass what if this layout inflator, layout inflator will be attached to that view group. Then no, we don't want this. So false. Why we don't want this? Because we are going to create a view holder for every single item so always this will be the false whenever you are using the recycler view now move on to the bind view holder so what we will do is let's check holder as now this holder what this will be this holder will be of course movie list view holder so we are assuming that holder as movie list view holder this is a type casting as you can see uh, so like in android we are doing something like this uh, movie means in java when we are, we are using the java we are something doing like this right so similarly in kotlin what we are doing is holder as movie holder right now the function which we have created bind view but now if we want to display this movie's picture and name and release date what we need to do is we need to pass the data of course so of course so we will we will pass movie model in the view holder movie model like this now we have to display those data into our view so first of all okay so first of all as we can, we can see this we have image movie so we need to display image in the view holder in our view holder so go to the movies list view holder now item view we can access all our views of view holder or list underscore item underscore movies layout using the item view because we have used this layout inflator file and we layout inflator class we have passed the view into the view holder okay so item view dot image movie dot okay uh, this is in your view so we are going to use the client to to display images sorry for this and uh, let's import a glide library to display list of images glide is a image processing library in android it is good to use a glide for display images in android i will make detailed video of glide also in future uh, we can display images from the server from the local uh, from the local uh, resources like assets or drawable in android using the glide sync now after putting this dependency in project level structure of build.gridle file the sync will take some time that it depends on the internet of course now it's a score to the bind view holder sorry uh, just go to the movies list view holder now the light dot with with uh, we need to pass the context here i don't view dot context dot load what we will load we will load movies dot 
moving picture right now dot into item view item view dot what is the name I don't view dot image movie so, so I don't view dot image movie so it will this will load the image into the I don't view now the next information I don't view dot what is the next the next is text so movie title is next so I don't view dot text movie title dot text is equal to movie model dot movies title right here uh, you can use or empty here why why this or empty or empty is is uh, important because uh, if the movie title is null then if uh, then application can get trash in java we are using if uh, if function not no movie no not equal to movie model dot title not equal to no so what this will this will check if the data is null or not so rmt what this rmt will do is it will check that movie title is null if it is null then this will return a blank screen like this blank screen okay so we don't require this as uh, as we are going to pass dummy data and we know that yes it will be always there so this is the movie title now now next is movie views how many people has used this trailer right so this movie view dot text equal to movie model dot over movie views dot to string as this is an integer to convert from integer to string just need to use two string function in kotlin right so view is how much view? this is a concatenation function dollar we can use this to concate the strings right also now next is our movies release date we are going to display it release date also so i'm to view dot right we got text release date is equal to movie model dot release date right that this will now so release date now just move to the movies after it is showing the red arrow right because it requires movie model which we have declared here yeah, right this movie model we need to pass a movie model how we will how we will how we will pass list of movie dot position for every single item this bind view method will call and it will pass the data to our views right it will bind the data to the views actually so now our adapter and view holder is ready now we are good to go to display list of data using the main activity so now just go to the main activity right in the main activity now just create one function here why would function init view you can give any name it is not compulsory to give this name init view now what we need is here is your recycle review we have already declared if you don't know how to do prepare recycle review just you know recycle I will write this down again. Re this this layout is match better, right? Constraint layout. Now I want a white color and background. Background and white color white. Now declare the recycler view. Yes, just write recycler view. As you can see, recycler list view. Don't use recycler list view, just use recycler view now match parent width is match parent right the width is match parent now height if you are using the constraint layout that i always recommend to declare height as zero dp and then top of the parent bottom of the bottom parent so this will expand full great now give the name to recycle view id recycle movie so now we have a name of the recycler view now last recycler view. movies dot layout manager okay why we need layout manager right layout manager the 
recyclable layout window that is responsible for measuring and positioning item views within the recycle view right so this will position the view into the recycle view so now we are going to learn about uh, linear layout manager with recycle view today so linear layout manager okay now just pass the context okay. Yes, it is done. Linear layout manager. Now we need to attach one adapter with the recycle view, right? So we have already created adapter here, adapter class here, movie list adapter. So create quick. So just declare one variable that the movie list adapter. Movie list adapter right now it is done just declare as in now we are going to initiate this later and instead i recommend to just declare this as a lady in it i will explain you what is laid in it in my other kotlin videos okay late in it movies list adapter so movies list adapter is now declared now just going to just we need to init it as we have declared late in it it means we are going to initialize this movie list adapter later right so now instead this adapter and yes now this movie list adapter is initialized what we will make next next is host of movies right so we have created a list of movies mutable list movie model good we have now list of movies also declare it initialize it initialize it now recycle review movies dot adapter to give our adapter and attach our adapter with recycle view adapter now this is done but this adapter doesn't have any record yet or doesn't have any data to display so we are going to generate one dummy data okay like this see in my blog this this blog i have written so you can just visit to androidfordev.com and you will see lots of blog written by me here i'm regularly trying to write the blogs whenever i get a free time so i will try to provide you as much as blogs before any you making any video i will try to write all the blogs so it can be so you can even uh, take the data from those blogs take my code from this blog even i have uploaded all my code on the github so you can take the, all the code from github also so let's take some dummy data from the my code yeah here's the function generate dummy data i have already created this dummy data so i just going to copy and paste here right so here is all the data which we require now what we need to do is movie list adapter dot sorry not this uh, we have a list of movies to declare here so list of movies is equal to generate dummy data so we are just going to uh, pass our all the data to the list of movies to move to mutable list because i am returning list of movies model not the mutable list that's why i have converted this to the mutable list here i have declared the mutable list as a list of movies so the difference between the list and mutable list is you cannot manipulate list data which is in the list okay in the list of array but you can manipulate the data which is in the mutable list mutable the name is explanatory right it's good so now we will give this pass the data to the list of movies our adapters list of movie so and after that at the end we will pass this adapter to the recycler view adapter and in it you and just put any view here now we can run the project in our emulator as you have seen i have run this the blank project now it's, we are running it so 
you can see all the list of movies is here now all the list of movies this one looks fine all my favorite movies and yes what is missing here this looks very much uh, not good because here is no divider in the between the between the list of data there is no divider right so what many people do is they declare the one they put the one view here between the date items so this is not good idea actually it's very bad idea uh, i will show you what why it is bad let's take an example view match parent one that's okay background android color black and uh, bottom of the bottom bottom of the bottom because we want that divider in the bottom right so here it is it is already there as you can see this black one let's run let me run so you can see in the clear letter yeah this one is black but this is a very bad it is this is very bad way of doing this because this view will take some resource to render instead of this better to use decorators which what decorators you are you are thinking what is decorator so divider item decoration right item decorator recycle view item decorator which i what i'm talking about this so recycle view item decorator what this do and i don't know item decoration allows the application to add special drawing and layout offset to specific item view right so specific item view means if i want to add anything after the view of the recycle adapter i can add using the item decorator i can decorate any single item also so this is a flexibility which recycle view offer but not list view so let's use this i have already created one decorator class uh, on my github uh, wait a minute i think yes it is here so if this is on my blog you can directly this is also in my github repository which is in the description i have i will add the github repo link in my description you can check this check it out so just see this this divide item decor decoration let let declare one more package here new package recycle review that recycle review helper this because this class are going to help us in recycling the function name will be divider item decoration you you know one class now just go to and go to my blog and copy the whole thing sorry it's doing weird okay so copy the whole thing paste it here now let's see what's remaining nothing is remaining right so just remove this braces and this will work right import all the required things right it's done So what this class actually is doing? What it think? So this class is drawing the view after every single item in recycle view. As you can clearly see, what I have, what I did is I did the recycle view dot item decoration. So this will uh, gives me one function. I can override the on draw method of recycle view. So I did that. After that, what I did is I figure out. Eh, uh, position after every single item using this top or bottom and after that i am drawing the uh, i'm drawing this this divider view after every single item so and this i made this very dynamic uh, as uh, you can see i can only pass there are two constructors two constructors not one first one is just need to pass uh, context and it will draw the divider view second one is you can pass your own divider design and this will render it okay let's see the simple one first oh sorry let's see the simple one first go to the main activity what you need to do is 
it's very simple just go to recycler your movies dot add item decoration is the divider item that is already android's own default divider item decoration but i recommend them to use custom class and we pass our contacts out now you will see your magic here we have already removed the view from here which we have created for divider now just run the app so as you can see here i have a, we have a divider here now with between the every items okay so let's go to the main activity again and uh, divider item decoration this is here now if you want to use the custom layout you want to use some some custom custom drawable file then you can also do this just go to the drawable create one drawable file like uh, item divider drawable i have actually already created one divider drawable here but i'm just showing you right let's go here and uh, this file is already there on means on the my on my repository just copy and paste what i did is i just created one shape with the color and size of it i just give it a five just re make it to the one okay so just use this as pass this resource r dot drawable this r dot drawable is used to access the drawable resources in resource folder right it will be wider drawable right now just run it again just run it again and you will see the result see this is a blue line why to use the custom drawable here it is just because you can manipulate your divider whatever i want to just go to the 5db again and you will see the results let's see how fine this look okay so that's why i i prefer to use decorator class use the custom decorator class always right now if you have any questions please put comment below okay and subscribe friends please subscribe because i am going to create lots of videos in future which can help you to learn android in detail right i am going to start kotlin classes also on free on the youtube free of charge okay of course so there is no harm to subscribe now just I told you that I will show you what are the common mistakes that developer do while do working with the recycler. The first mistake is they forget to they forget to use the layout manager, and what the result will be just on the project. The project will of course the project will run successfully if you forget to add a layout manager, but result will be the blank, no data will be displayed because the layout manager is layout manager is the main thing which will hold all the views in it for recycler view so never forget to put the layout layout manager or never forget to attach layout manager in recycler view the second part is i told you that in the list of items if you declare this as a match parent what it will cost so see this i will run it again and it's installing that so okay the first item and second item they see how many space it takes it takes a whole match pair because it's match pair which is taking the whole space to display one item that's why it should be always map content right these are the main two things which i which i want to show you that these are the common mistake the developer do when they work with the recycler views so friends if you have any question please put the comment below or you can even ask me on my on the twitter instagram group uh, for android for dev there is a group on instagram android for dev even there is a group on facebook also you can contact me through there you can even search for my repository not this beside recycler view kotlin and you will get this demo on the on this github i will put all the link in the description even i will put this blog link in the description so you can even read all the things or which i told you in the video but might be you are not able to 
understand or I'm not able to represent that in more details. That's why I have all written all the things. So you can go, go here and check this vlog. Okay. And let me know uh, what if you uh, what other videos you need or um, you if you want me to create some other videos then i will create for sure thank you friends that's it for today we will meet in the next video for sure